everyone, welcome back to another Wee Workout Wednesday. Today's not a Wee 3, um, I've been doing Wee 3 workouts for a while and today I'm actually, uh, it's a winning combination of uh, not being tired, uh, being more organised and having less pain and uh, more motivation. So that's why I'm actually going to be doing a Wee 5 with a bonus 6. The setup is different today as well. I've been doing kind of set reps for the last few weeks. Today is going to be intervals, and I'm going to set. I've set this for 15 cycles, so um, 15 cycles of 20 seconds is the first interval. That's the rest, and then the 40 seconds is the uh, the effort period, and that means there's going to be uh, three rounds of five exercises, 15 minutes long. The exercises are goblet squat, to the best of my ability, may have to do body weight squat, uh, two handed kettlebell swing, dynamic push ups, so those are a little more explosive and they are fatiguing. So um, I may do them up uh, with my hands elevated a little bit. If that's too challenging for me or you, then you can think about a substitution, uh, doing normal push ups instead, hand elevated or whatever, staggered push ups as well or you could do um, plank climber. So that's where you're in the plank position and you're then stepping up with the arms under the hands. So you could do that. Then the third, or fourth exercise is a roundabout swing. This one needs a little more coordination as well because you're going from a two-handed swing to a one-handed, then you're bringing the other hand in doing another two-handed, then you're swapping back to the other single side. So. Sometimes it can get messed up, so don't worry if you end up doing an alternating or two-handed swing, an extra one um, in there. It's just about keeping going, regardless of the style of swing. The final exercise then is side-to-side -side step over, so I'm sort of jumping side-to-side uh, -side on the bench. I'm going to be doing it on the lower level here. Um, if you want to challenge yourself a little bit more, you can uh, do a higher bench or else hold a small weight. And, and do it that way. Just kind of keep it a steady pace. And then um, at the very end I might try to do a couple more sets of chin-ups. Um, may or may not show that but it's that I'm trying to work on chin-ups at the minute and that means that I want to get a certain amount in through the week so that means you know trying to build up a total volume of those. And, uh, and that's really it so I'll get warmed up here and uh, I'll make a start. I'll see you very briefly at the end.
dynamic push ups. Just a bit easier. Okay. Side to side things. It's possible. It's possible that I can finish this. Yes, I finished it. In doing that workout, it was interesting to listen to my own thoughts as I set off into the workout with great hope. And at some point, as things are more difficult than I expected, or I get more fatigued than I expected, uh, that I realize the negative thoughts start to come in to tell me that what am I doing, and I, you know, what I think I'm going to prove, and all this stuff. Or haha, look, you know you used to be able to do this like it was a breeze and well that wasn't really true it was always difficult but um, it was better conditioned and uh, but I realized that there is a way to uh, combat those thoughts for a start they're not true because I realized that the reason I, I train the reason I do this is that it has a, a reward in the process. I'm not waiting for some lofty goal or something to uh, make it all worthwhile. It's not a punishment to do it. It's not, a, it's not a chore for me to do it. I enjoy training. I enjoy um, being strong. I enjoy training strength just for the, the process itself. Not that I have to get a certain thing, a certain amount of strength before I can be happy and you hear it all the time saying that the, the, the journey is the destination and that's that's true if you want to have a truly uh, fulfilling experience 
in your fitness journey, then you have to see it as a joy in and of itself. And if you're not, then look for something that you can get that from. Because otherwise, you're just going to make yourself miserable in hoping that this goal is going to make you happier. If there's not another, I guess, deeper reason or a way for you to get joy in the process, it's going to be a lot more difficult to continue going and get that goal. And so, um, there's no particular goal I'm working on except for the fact that I enjoy the process and I think that if I got to whatever elite level is there, the destination, I think I would be pretty sad about it. I think I'd be like, oh, this is it. Like, there's no more to keep on going. So it's it's like, it really is a joy to do. Like, it kind of has to become that for it to just fit in with your, your lifestyle. And uh, I, I kind of uh, use a story Years ago, I used to sit and make model railway buildings, and it took a lot. It was meticulous. You had to like glue windows and stuff, and little uh, frames, and all sorts of stuff. And I used to get up in the summer holidays, and I used to go in and I sit for hours gluing this stuff together. And I'd actually be very sad. I mean, the completion of a house was great, but when they were all completed and there was none left, I was left like, oh no, like that's it. It's like where's I need more like and jigsaws and things that you work on and piece together that it takes that time and that you get into that state of flow if you're like me and you love that sort of thing whatever it is it gets you into that state of enjoying the process and not not like getting frustrated at not complete having completed it yet it's like what if we were able to do that as we build or put together our strength or our physique goals and the things that we are trying to achieve what if the actual piecing together of that puzzle was the most enjoyable thing because ultimately I think that's what happens like we, we can't ever have it all pieced together but the 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 doing it is what it is where the joy lies so that's what I was thinking about it's been a theme this week in, in various things but I was being aware of it during the workout how sometimes even now those negative thoughts just appear and it's like I can see you now, I can see what you're trying to do and that's not, that's not what I'm here for. So uh, off you go, negative thought, away. So there, you have a power over those and finding the, the joy in what you're doing at that time. Enjoy learning the kettlebell snatch, enjoy at tweaking your deadlift, enjoy whatever it is, uh, learning your chin up and enjoy the process. So what happens if you don't enjoy it, but uh, you, you're trying to get to a specific goal? Then I think you have to find something that you really do enjoy, that you can do often, um, that will allow you to do the other things that are less enjoyable. I mean, nobody really likes to warm up and cool down, but we do it because it's a lead-in to the thing we want to do. We reward ourselves at intervals by doing the things that we, we do enjoy and that we get to that. So if there's a way that you can work in things that uh, do give you that sort of enjoyment of the process or you're able to look at things that way. Some people have a great ability to do that. They'll do things that aren't as enjoyable like exercise but they see it um, in a big picture and doing that is enjoyable for them and even just meeting those daily uh, or weekly goals is the process that they enjoy. So it's finding how it works best for you. But for me, the act, the action, and the actual doing of it is the, the best part for me. Um, and it, I don't get a lot of joy from looking at just the consistency. It's the effort that I enjoy. So it's whatever you can find that, that it is that sort of ticks that box for you. Um, so that's the that's today's workout and that's today's little uh, thought of the day I guess but I'm going to do uh, a couple of sets of chin ups here and then I'm going to cool down and uh, and that's it so hopefully you enjoyed the workout. I am going to do a video for uh, some troubleshooting for the kettlebell snatch um, as some people 
had uh, responded to last week's video where I asked if that would be useful and uh, I think it the answer is yes so I will get to work on that and have it up as soon as I can so hopefully you enjoyed today's workout and I'll be back soon with more